You've seen them. You've heard them. Now let's meet some frogs. These interesting animals can live part of their lives in water and part on land, which makes them amphibians. This word means double life. When in the water, frogs can breathe through their skin. When on land, they use their lungs. Can you believe there are about 4,000 types of frogs? They come in a lot of colors and patterns too. And they're found all over the world, but most live in the tropical rainforest. Brightly colored frogs are sometimes called the jewels of the rainforest. They come in just about every color combination you can think of. Yellow and black, red and black, even bright blue. These colors warn other animals to stay away. Hey, don't eat me, I'm poisonous. Some frogs have colors or markings that make them hard to find. This is called camouflage. This is our mossy tree frog. He's green and black to blend into his environment. He lives on the rock walls of caves and on the green moss of trees. So he has the bumpy skin, as you can see, and this also helps to blend into the cave walls. If you were a bird looking for lunch, how many mossy tree frogs could you find? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven mossy frogs. This giant tree frog blends right in with the leaf he's resting on. But what if he needs to rest on a log? He can change his color from green to brown to match his surroundings. How cool is that? Wouldn't it be fun if we could do that too? Frogs come in different sizes. This smooth-sided toad is about eight inches long and is the largest frog we have here in the San Diego Zoo. Our smallest frogs are golden mantellas. This female is only about a half an inch long. Hey, come back here. All frogs hop, right? Don't jump to conclusions just yet. There are lots of ways to get around. Frogs have long legs for hopping and climbing. Check out the legs on this folding leaf frog. The folding leaf frog with its long legs can climb up and down tree branches like you would climb a ladder. Some frogs have sticky feet that help them get a grip that won't slip. Take a look at this Bornean eared frog. Each of his toes have a pad covered with tiny bumps that help the frog climb rough surfaces like tree bark or rocks. Between the bumps is a sticky mucus. The mucus gives the frog clinging power on slippery surfaces like wet leaves. Some frogs are most at home in the water. And people often say this Suriname toad looks a lot like a dead leaf, but watch her come to life. See that webbing between her toes? It helps her swim. And then, there's the tomato frog. He doesn't move much at all because he's so round. Instead, he just waits for his next meal to walk by. What a life. What's one thing all frogs have in common? They love to eat. Do insects, snails, worms, and spiders sound tasty? Well, they do if you're a frog. What's really cool? Frogs help keep the world's insect population under control. Thanks, frogs. You rock. You rock.